Hello, I'm Peter Gallison. I'm the faculty director of the Collection of Historical Scientific Instruments here at Harvard. This is a collection that began in one sense in the 17th century as a Wunderkammer, a chamber of wonders, special, bizarre, strange, illustrative objects collected from around the world. Then, in the 18th century, tragically, it burned down. When the collection was started again as a modern instrument collection, one of the chief initial collectors of these instruments, of electrical devices and optical devices and other things, was Benjamin Franklin, who, when he was in Paris and London, helping to establish the international relations of the United States, was also collecting instruments from the great instrument makers of Europe. And they became the foundational physical cabinet that was used for teaching and research here at Harvard. One of the things that's happened over the years is that the instruments that became part of the research efforts in physics and chemistry and related topics were brought into the collection as a way of storing them for use and eventually for safekeeping. There were also a great variety of instruments that were used for teaching. We have dozens and dozens of binary microscopes, for instance, different kinds of telescopes, all sorts of timekeeping devices from all around the world. And these form a kind of physical residue of the knowledge that was produced and disseminated at the university. What I'd like to do in the next few minutes is to look at three objects that in some ways illustrate the 18th, the 19th, and the 20th century history of this remarkable collection. 